Hey all, I'd like to uh, walk you through some of the changes I've made in XCollidraw 1.0.6. And the key update is I've added export to SVG and PNG file formats. And overall what you will find is all of my exports will use the file name of your drawing and will simply add SVG or PNG as an extension to the file and it will save it to the same location where your image is. I'll show you uh, in a moment. There are two settings that uh, influence how your image will look like. Uh, you can export an image with the background and with the theme. So uh, the theme uh, is uh, this uh, here that you have a light and a dark theme. If I now save this as a dark theme you can see that this image uh, also followed the dark theme. Let me show you the settings. So if I come in here, you have these two settings. If I turn off the theme, uh, applying the theme, then you will see that the exported image doesn't have the theme. It will be exported with a default uh, white background uh, because uh, it's hard to see here, but this image had actually a white background, which in the dark theme was uh, converted to black by XCollidraw. I can also export an image uh, without the background, which will make the image transparent. So that's what you see right now in uh, here, uh, that this image was now exported uh, as transparent. And uh, if I change back, uh, the theme that will not uh, change the look and feel uh, of this image. So that's, uh, those are the two settings that you can use to control how your export happens. You can exp uh, trigger export either manually to have a once-off export and for that I added two buttons here, uh, export to SVG and export to PNG. And if you click the button, I'll click export to SVG and you can see that the SVG file uh, has appeared. And if I click on the SVG, you can see that uh, I have my file uh, right here. Uh, and the same uh, with PNG. So if I click PNG, then you see that the PNG file was created and there's the uh, PNG image. Now you can also use the common palette. So when the drawing is active, if I press Ctrl P and I type in XCollidraw, then you see the export SVG, export PNG commons are here. And they will do exactly the same as the buttons. You can also set up automatic export to these two file formats. And if I come to uh, settings, you will see I have three settings regarding this. So first of all, I can set up that I want to automatically generate an SVG file. And then I can also set up if I want to keep the file name of the SVG and PNG file in sync with my uh, drawing file. So I'm going to click this. I'm not going to be exporting PNGs now. And let me uh, go ahead and create a new drawing. So this is a brand new drawing and let me just draw something here and uh, you will see that when I exit this drawing, so I switch back to this drawing and come back here, uh, you can see that in the meantime my uh, SVG was created. It sometimes takes a bit for um, Obsidian to recognize that the file was updated. So you saw I opened another PNG and back here and then uh, it recognized that this is indeed a valid file. Now, what I want to show you is if I rename my drawing, so I'll rename it circle uh, and uh, I execute it, then you see that the SVG file was also uh, renamed to circle. Uh, this works also if I move the SVG file to demo, then you will see that the, uh, not the SVG, the uh, XCollidraw file I moved uh, to the demo folder, the SVG file followed it and I can move it back here and the SVG will follow uh, this file and also if you have a PNG, the PNG file will follow it as well.
So those are the export settings. I also added uh, two uh, additions to the command palette and this is actually just a very simple addition. So if I want to open a drawing, I can uh, decide whether I want to open it on the active page or if I want to open it in a new pane. So let me just uh, bring up the command palette and say I want to open an existing drawing in a new pane, which means uh, this current page is going to be split and that's where the drawing is going to be placed. So let me open up demo and you can see that uh, this was opened up right here. While if I would choose the uh, other option, then if I want to open an existing drawing in the currently active pane, if I choose circle, then I would open my circle right here. So coming back uh, to uh, the demo uh, or the description, uh, you can see uh, I've also added uh, some functionality to the ribbon button. So let me just close this. And now if here on the ribbon, if I click control click, then a new drawing is created uh, in a new pane. If I just simply click the ribbon button, then it is going to be created on the uh, active pane. And then finally, I just want to show you uh, some of the formatting that was now added. So there's a styling option and what you can uh, do is, let me just show you up here, uh, you can see uh, that I can add a size and I can also add an alignment and uh, of course I can add the alignment without the size as well so now it's going to be a smaller demo because it's not the uh, 800 large but uh, I can also add here left and then my uh, image will appear on the left. In fact the way I've uh, built this is anything you put after the last pipe character is going to be added to this uh, class so xcolidraw dash svg and then it's going to be dash left dash right dash center dash whatever you want uh, so you can uh, go um, and develop uh, any kind of uh, uh, CSS uh, for your purposes. So those are the key changes and I hope you like it. If you have additional ideas, please submit those on GitHub and uh, I'll be happy to uh, try to make them happen. Thank you.